Alright, hi, my name is Ron Watson. I'm with Positive Vibe, dog training studio in western Michigan. And uh, I'm out here in San Diego with Emily and Al, and I'm really enjoying the weather. We're just going to do essentially a stall, which is to jump up on the object and sit here, and a vault from one end to the other, a linear vault, and then we're going to do a reverse vault, which is essentially a fly ball box turn off at the side of this, or a flip off of an obstacle. Alright, first thing I want to work with Roxy, she already has value added to the, to the barrel, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to add value to the barrel. I can take eye contact, yes, reinforce on the barrel. Dog is going to go to where the reinforcement happens. And then I'm going to pump her full of cookies up here, and I'm going to ask her off. And what will happen is, this up here will have lots of value, and the dog will desire to be up there. When the dog starts to jump back up of their own volition, because they want to, yes, very nice, now I know that my stuff is working, there's a lot of value on this obstacle, it's very likely that the behavior will happen. Once I develop this, then I'll go to work. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set a linear vault. I'm going to get Roxy over here and I'm going to say top and I'm going to toss a cookie over there. And she's over there, top, and I'm going to toss a cookie over here. Off. Can reward for position? Yes. Top? Yes. Good. And when Roxy starts to top, good girl, look like she's coming off on her own, we know that she has the skill understood. Top. Yes, very nice. And we can actually toss a cookie to the dog while they're going over. So that's a linear vault. Once I have that going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to throw them a curve ball and I'm going to ask them to stall. And it looks like she's got a real big desire to be on that ball. So I'm going to yes, toss a cookie over there for eye contact. I'm going to call the stall and I'm going to hold her here with the cookie. I don't care that she was doing the vault. Doesn't matter why she's doing the behavior. The cookie stops her, I hook her up, I ask her off. Stall, and she stalls. Want to build a, a contrast between stall and top. Yes, and we can see that she's already top. Yes, she's already blowing through that if the cookie's not stopping her. She's going to stall on her own. Default behavior, that's okay. Ah. So, got a linear vault, top. Good, we got a stall. Watch out. Yes, good girl. Off. Good. And the final piece of the puzzle is a reverse ball. I'm going to ask her up, and I'm going to toss a cookie out there. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm not cueing it now because I'm not sure that it's going to happen. When I can guarantee she's going to come up, I will put a cue on it. I'll call it rebound, rebound, and I'll toss it over there. What we get is this up and off. Important, again, we're doing this at the foundational level. It's important that the dog have this foundational skill before we put him 10 feet in the air. Yes, yes. Good, and I'm gonna call the rebound. Rebound. Yes, very nice. Ready, jump up, jump up, yes. Ready, rebound, yes. Pump stall, yes, very nice. All right, once again, my name's Ron Watson. This is Roxy. We're in San Diego. Uh, I'm Positive Vibe in Western Michigan. Um, thanks a lot to Emily and Al and everybody who's hanging out with us out here and enabling us to have a good time. Talk to you later.